Y O L O YOLO YOLO you only live once A phrase that embodies the philosophy of exchanging risk for pleasure As you only have one life you may as well live it to the fullest and risk seeking behaviors tend to bring more rewards than risk tolerant ones YOLO is a pretty cool word Bolo, on the other hand, is not so cool. It has all the danger of YOLO, but just none of the fun. Bolo, be on the lookout. A phrase used by police to initiate a search for a missing person. People go missing for many reasons, which means that bolos typically have a large variety of conclusions. Statistically, most bolo cases end solved. It, 90% of them end solved, and of those 90%, 75% of them end with the person who is missing being found alive. It might be a normal thought process to believe that those living the YOLO life are very likely to get a bolo. But let's use today's case as a counterexample. Suzanne LaPierre. According to her mom, she was a homebody. She never left home and she never really left her hometown. On February 20, 2022, Suzanne LaPierre's mother contacted the police to report her daughter missing. She last saw Suzanne two days prior. She also informed the police that Suzanne had severe psychological issues. The police contacted local hospitals. and mental health facilities but ended up empty handed. Let me interrupt real quick just to give a channel update. So we have a sponsor for today's video in Morgan and Morgan. Um let me just say that over the past few months a lot of companies have reached out to me to look for sponsorships, uh placements in my videos and I've rejected all of them so far. Morgan and Morgan uh just makes sense for this channel at the moment. They're not asking you to buy anything and I don't have to review any products. all they want is for you to remember their name because god forbid one day you are in an accident and need someone to claim for you the money that you're owed um of course maybe your first response is to call an insurance company but we all know how that goes they are set up to fight to not give you the money that you are owed so what do you do you got to call a lawyer and who do you call you can call morgan and morgan because they will fight for you for free um if you don't win your case you don't have to pay them anything If you are ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. You can submit a claim in 8 clicks or fewer without having to leave your couch. For more information, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law, that's pound 529 from your cell phone. Police surveying the outside of Suzanne's residence found Suzanne's red Chevrolet was missing. The first thing the police noticed when they entered the home was a trail of blood on the living room floor leading back into the bedroom. The bedroom itself had blood on the walls, on the dressers, on everything. Clothes were scattered about the room. It was almost in a strategic fashion. All the clothes were used to soak up the blood on the floor. So here's the crime scene. A normal looking bedroom with every cloth-based article in the room used to soak up blood. The one thing that's odd is that the blanket's missing. The blanket from the bed is missing. And the police surmise that the blanket was probably used to wrap up the body for transport to a disposal location. And from the trail of blood, it looked that the body had been dragged out of the garage. Clumps of hair were also found next to the garage door. Detectives pinged Suzanne's phone but got no response. The last phone tower that was hit was near a storage facility, but a check of that facility would yield no sign of Suzanne's car. In fact, Suzanne's car was being driven at the time. It was being driven by her live-in boyfriend, James Lally. James Lally, he's a homeless guy. He was staying with Suzanne for 6 months. He had a motorcycle, he had his own means of transportation. But his biggest problem in life was this. His girlfriend wasn't all that pleased with him, and she gave him an ultimatum. Leave by the end of the month. 
Suzanne, who was reliant on government disability for income, was kind enough to give Lally a month to earn money so that he wouldn't have to be homeless again once moving out. But that's a kindness that was not reciprocated. The police started to suspect James Lally after talking to Suzanne's mother and the manhunt began. Lally had pawned off $1,500 worth of his girlfriend's jewelry for like $100. However, this pawn shop visit didn't give detectives any intel on Lally's possible location. They did have one last lead. Lally was purportedly driving Suzanne's car around because his motorcycle was in the shop. Detectives contacted repair shops in the area asking whether they had the motorcycle belonging to Lally. A repair shop specializing in motorbikes confirmed that Lally did drop off his motorcycle at the repair shop and it was ready to be picked up. When detectives visited the shop, they learned that a Ronald Holman attempted to pick up Lally's motorcycle, claiming to possess the title for the motorbike. Yet upon inspection, employees found that the motorcycle belonged to a person named Geraldine Kohler. Employing the information that they gained from the motorcycle shop, the police decided to first visit number one lead, Ronald Holman, who explained the whole situation and was very helpful actually. Lally had arrived at Holman's residence with a red Chevrolet that belonged to Suzanne. He arrived at Holman's residence and he said, Hey, I'm going north to Boston to seek employment as a fisherman. I would like to sell you my motorcycle for $2,000. Holman accepted the deal. Lally gave Holman the title to the vehicle and told Holman to wire him $2,000 once the bike was picked up. However, Taito was not right, so Holman was unable to pick up the motorcycle. Detectives thus knew that Lally was likely on his way out of state and that they would have to find him fast. So they employed the last lead that they had, which was the name on the title of the motorcycle, Geraldine Kohler. And that person happened to be Lally's aunt. The day after attempting to sell his motorcycle to Holman, Lally arrived at his Aunt Geraldine's house, which was in Jacksonville, outside the jurisdiction in which detectives were searching for Lally, Fort Myers. He claimed he was there to pick up some boxes. While at his aunt's residence, Lally requested to watch the news several times. Unfortunately for Lally, Geraldine's television set wasn't really working. Lally had to go through the process of installing an antenna fixing the TV so he can watch the news. He put a lot of effort into being able to watch the news and his aunt found it very strange. Having seen nothing on the Jacksonville news regarding a missing person in Fort Myers, Lally felt it's time to relax. So he went to sleep with the plans of driving up to Boston the next day. But before Lally could start his new life as a fisherman in Boston, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office showed up at Lally's aunt's house. When the police announced their presence at Lally's door, he hid himself in her room. And then a helicopter was sent to pick him up and send him back to Fort Myers for questioning. In talking to the police, Lally would reveal that he did indeed beat Suzanne's head in with a hammer, causing her death. Lally said he lost control of himself when he heard Suzanne talking on the phone about how Lally should probably go back to a homeless center. Lally, after doing the deed, tried to clean up the crime scene with every piece of cloth available in the house, but failed to do a good job. So he just rolled the body up in a blanket, hid it on the side of a rural road, and left town. What follows is the police interrogation of James Lally. Hey, do you want to um, just search him again, a, a cup, and, and sir, if you want to sit over there, you can. Of course. <laughs> that was, these were on your wrist, right? They were on your wrist, right? Yes, sir. They'll go with you on
Okay. Yeah, you can uncuff him if you want. Yes. Sir, I know it's going to be a little bit, so you want water or anything while you wait? Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, one. Let's going to be patient get the second one. If you want to sit right over there, sir, and I'll bring yeah. your water in just one minute. Yeah. If you want to just bring those bracelets out here, yeah. we'll put them on a little bag for you. Yeah. I have his other property, too. Okay. There you go, sir. If you need anything, just knock on the door for me, all right? Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. It was shaped fun. I apologize. No problem. God, how long do you think, God, before I talk to somebody? Honestly, I don't know. So just give me a little bit, and I'll keep you updated, okay? No, so if you need anything, just knock. Thank you very much. Did you want this blanket? Are yeah. you cold? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Can you calm on the ceiling? Okay. All right. You all right? Yeah. You know, the water or something? No. Bag of chips? Yeah, bag of chips would be nice. You see why? I, I mean, I don't know. I can't promise you chips. See if I can find something to eat that. Thank you. All right, buddy. Oh, my God. Shit. Con bar? Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you. Okay, find your chips right there. Let me ask you something. What, uh, what are we? What's going on? Wait until the detectives get here. Well, uh, from uh, down south. Down south. Yeah. Hang tight. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. All right. Hey, if you need some tap on the door, just pull some. Right. 
meant to be that tight. No, I'm just making sure I get a finger in both of them. He's gonna he's gonna pull your necklace off too. Yeah. I think there's two of them. There it is. Let's see. Get a finger in both. You got a belt on? We don't get your belt too. Oh. Don't lean forward though. I hope that would have gravity. Can they put it over your head? Blankets you just tried to hang yourself with? I need all the uh, Sir, you uh, tied it around your neck and then started going like this. So that answer is no. All right, James. All right, my friend. Same so thing. he's going to take out the handcuffs. I'm going to wipe you up, uh, wipe up the chair yeah, in the yeah, area. I, I try and then you got fresh water. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. And some people are here to talk to you, okay? All right, cool. Thank you. The four is be patient when I get the first one off. I'll get the second one, okay? No problem. Man. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Uh, James, do a favor. Just step in the uh, at corners. So I don't want to kick. You know. It's alright. Sorry, right. right. sorry about talking to you. I mean, we hey, we thought you we tried your best given the the fact you had your handcuffs. We did a really fucked up thing, and, uh, yeah. I'll take that water from you. Mm. I'll leave it up here. Just in case you see it. Do it for me. Yep. Just the same drink, the same thing. Like, oh, so it's dry Blanket, possibly, please. I'll let one of them bring in for you. No problem. All right. Take it back to the kitchen. Okay, I'll carry it and I'll tell you whatever you want. Cold? Yeah. You got that cup of sun, huh? Okay. 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 Hey, how you doing? I'm Jim. Thing out of my ass. Tommy. I did the most horrible fucking thing I ever did. Yeah? And, uh, you know what? Your name is James, right? Yeah. I'm Jim. This is Tom. We're gonna uh, help you through this. Help you get through this, okay? Gotta read you a little bit first. Okay, you, 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 you get me out of Duval County, bring me back to Lee County. I'll do whatever you want. Okay. All right. Um, we're in a secure facility, okay? You understand that, right? So, uh, as such, we have to read you your rights and make sure you understand them. Let me do that to you now, and then yeah. we'll have a discussion, okay? Yeah. All right. 
You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice. Before we ask you any questions, I have them with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you for any question if you wish. If you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering questions any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand each of those rights, yeah. James? Yes. And with those rights in mind, will you still speak with me now? Yeah. I appreciate that. So, like I said, my name is Jim. This is Tom. Um, I just want out of the walk County, please. Under that. And, and for what reason? I just don't want to be here. Okay. So, what, what happened? What brought you here? Got in an argument. Uh, with yeah. All right. And when did that happen? Uh, two months ago. Okay. Right. Two months ago. Right. Fuck you, stupid. What the fuck I was thinking? Is that a good And, uh, I bludgeoned her. You bludgeoned her? Horrible. With, uh, with what? Um, I am. Okay, and then what? It's horrible. I loved her. I really did. Cared about her. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I'll show you where I put her. Okay, so, um, did she pass away from those injuries? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And um, yeah. you said you'd show us where. where I think you don't deserve it, man. I understand. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Whereabouts? Take me, get me out of here. I thought, get me out of here. Get me back to Fort. Get, get me to Fort Myers, and I'm out of here, please. I don't want to be in Duval County. I understand. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll show you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I understand. Uh, understand this. We, we don't have the ability. We're from Fort Myers. We're in Jacksonville's jurisdiction, so yeah. we have to work with them. Okay? okay. So these things take a little bit of time, but we're gonna we're gonna take care of that. Okay. All right. We're we're gonna be here. We're gonna help. Uh, straighten this out. So I don't think it's gonna be straightened out, but yeah, whatever, whatever's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Right. So you know, uh, I'm uh, ready to deal with it. Okay, I appreciate the honesty. So a couple of days ago, you guys had a dispute, and then uh, where is she? She's in the field. Okay. About her. I don't know. Her. I just I was in such a panic. Mm -hmm. oh. Briarcliff Road. Briarcliff? Yeah. Okay. Do you know a cross street? I know it's not the biggest road, but it's still good sized properties out there. Yeah, I I don't exactly know the know the name of the road. Mm hmm So walk me through yes. where you drove. First of all, how did you get there? I drove her car. Okay, and that car is. Describe that car to me. It's HHR. Red HHR. A red HHR? That's yeah. a Chevrolet? Chevrolet. Okay. And you drove that car from where? Her house. From her house, and her house is where? Okay. And you guys have been in, in a romantic relationship yeah. or just a friendship or Rom romantic if seeing where it was going to go. Right, right, and, right. And uh, had a lot of, yeah. I, 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 I okay. Well, so you, you, you guys had the dispute. The, the incident occurred at the residence. Yeah. Where at inside the residence? In the bedroom. Okay. Her living room bedroom. Is that her bedroom? Her. Or okay. And that's in the rear of the house? Yes. Okay. And where from there? Did everything transpire in that room? Yeah. Okay. And I know it's difficult, but it's part of this process. Explain to me what happened. <sighs> 
told me she wanted me out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, lost my mind. Mm -hmm. Really and you acquired a hammer? Yeah, the hammer was on the table. We were using the hammer to put lights up around the, you know, those little uh, LED jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, man. Okay. I really don't. But I know I did it. You picked it up? Picked it up. Are you right-handed or left? Right-handed. Which hand did you pick it up with? Right-handed. Okay. And then what happened? I hit her. In the body, in the head, in the Back leg? In the head. Okay. How many times? I don't know. Most track. More than one? Yeah. More than ten? Possibly. Possibly? Okay. And then what happened right after that? I don't know. I had a couple, couple cups of coffee and... Dogs looking at me. You're doing the right thing. It's okay. No, yeah, it's all right. I don't want no trial. I don't want that penalty. I don't well, we don't. We don't do that. I don't even know that. But you keep working right at that. We're not. Uh, we're not the jury here. We're gathering facts. That's that's all this is. So after this transpired. Um, you took her somewhere near Briarcliff? Yeah. Okay. And did you put her into the car right away? Yeah. Where at in the car? In the back. In the, the tailgate? Yeah. And then walk me through where you drove. I'll tell you where the car is right now. <laughs> as long as you let Jerry get my things out of her car and, and you can have the car. Okay, who's Jerry? Jerry Gerald Geraldine Kohler. It's okay. uh, 13275 Tropic Eager Drive. And that's uh, right here in Jacksonville off of Hodges. And before we get there, I'm, I want to get what items you want us to give to her. Yeah. How did you get from Apollo to Briarcliff? What route did you take when you left the community? Century when I left the, the, well, yes, when I left the, uh, what did I do? Uh, with that gladiolus. Mm -hmm. To Michael C. Rapp. Back in there. Okay. When you got to Michael G. Rip. Yeah. And you turned. Turned. Right. Left. Left. So yeah, right, right, right would be Briarcliff. They're both Briarcliff. Yeah. There's and if you're if here's forty one. So if right. you're if you're if you're going down forty one, we okay. make a left go into Briarcliff. Okay, okay, I'm with you there. And then you continue around the curve. Not how far. Five miles, six miles back into that. Did, did you cross Michael G. Rip? Yeah. So he took Michael G. Rip to Briarcliff, turned left, went down Briarcliff through the curves all yeah. the way to the end. Did yeah. you reach the roundabout, the end? There was a roundabout all the way at the end of the Briarcliff. Yeah. 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 And then what happened? I took her out of the car. Mm -hmm. I knew. I, I, I didn't want to do that to her. And then fucking Kate, yeah. Where'd you put her? She's right. She's right in some trees. I'll you. take you right now. I'll take you right now. I'll show you. Okay. I have nothing to hide. After after you took her out of the car, you put her down. Is she covered in um, in brush or grass or anything? She has a blanket wrapped around her nicely. Okay. What um, color? White. White? Okay. And, uh, her mother. Okay. So, after that, what did you do? After you got her out of the car? 
we're going to act like a motherfucker. Went back to the house. Was going to take the dog. Left the dog. Cleaned up a little bit. They didn't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. They knew. They knew it was over. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I found him. I ain't got a gun. I should have hung myself. I should have done. I should have done a lot of things. What? Uh, what did you end up doing after? You, you drove back to the house, and then what from from there? I mean, obviously, just drove around in circles in so, the county, or no? Got on seventy five. Drove up here. Drove back down. Drove back up. And okay. Here I am. Um, did you take any? goods or any valuables with you from her house or from her or did you just drive? Just drove. Mm -hmm. Just drove. Okay. Yeah. And did you stay the night anywhere or? I stayed the night at Jerry's house. Right there. Last night? Okay. So you drove straight from Fort Myers through 75? Yeah. To Jacksonville? Obviously, cut over at what was it? I don't know what I was thinking. I drove. I, I, I uh, what the fuck did I do? After, yeah, I drove. I drove up here to uh, get the title to the Harley, mm -hmm. which you guys know about, which which is at Hurricanes. Mm -hmm. And um, Justin and Ronnie wanted the Harley. They wanted the Harley for a while. And uh, the Harley was at the shop, $589. I told Justin, Justin, pay the bill, give me two grand. What was he going to buy, man? I mean, more or less, he's probably going to buy another and shoot myself. Did you, did you stop anywhere on the way up from Fort Myers to, to up here? Gas yeah, stations, that's it. Okay. They didn't dump anything off, but that's what you're asking. Sarasota. Did you stop in Sarasota? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what did you do when you were there? Um, pawn store. Okay. What did you pawn? I pawned, um, what did I pawn? I pawned a few things. Um, what did I pawn? I pawned a few things. Where did you get those things? Where did they come from? The rain. And uh, a little trinket. Mm -hmm. That was it. And where did you, they come from? Were they on the house? They were hers. They were on her person? No. They were at the house? The house. Okay. All right. And then you pawned those in Sarasota? Yeah. Gold Coast or whatever the hell it was. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then continued your drive up here? Yeah. Stayed the night with... How do you know Jerry? Uh, she was my Uncle Tom's wife. Okay, and so she's a relative. More or less. Family. By marriage. Yeah. And um, is there any items inside of that residence that you brought with you up there? That I brought with me? From Fort Myers. Things from the Apollo house or? Yeah, the, the, the corners. The, the, I'll tell you where the corners are right now. Okay. Where at? The, the corners uh, on Hodges to the church. So you pass Tropic Egret in the church, the red right HHR. Okay. Is the hammer in the car? No. Where's the hammer? The hammer is, uh, I don't know, it's in that field. In the field with? Yeah. Okay. Is there any other items there by her? You, you'd mentioned that you cleaned some things off. Did you clean the hammer? No. Was there anybody else with you? No. It was just you. Just me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's where I'm at, man. You know what I mean? It wasn't planned or anything like that. There was no, you know what I mean? I kind of, I kind of. Was uh, I'm crying my fucking ass off? <laughs> sat there for the for hours. <laughs> At the house? No, where I put her. And Barcliffe? Just wanted to get the fuck up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just wanted... 
If I show you a photo, can you, uh... Or you show me? No, no, no. I'm going to show you a photo of the items, the items, the items in, uh, Sarasota. Yeah, I'm situation wasn't wasn't working out being it out. Yeah. What work were you doing? Doing tree trimming and shit and uh, I was tricking sell this Harley and just go back fishing. Commercial fishing out of Cape May and uh, I don't know man, I just the nonchalant is just just I don't know. I just mm-hmm. put a lot of effort for the last, what, September, October, November, December, January, February. You know, I put a lot of... Six in, months. Yeah, I know. And she's, uh... It's my fault, man. It's my fault. Well, what, it's all my fault. what did she say was the reason that, you know, you were going to... She was going to have her idiot fucking friend, Shelly, or whatever her name was, or, or the other chick, Sue, who moved out when I from Attleboro, Massachusetts, drug addict, fucking at the mat, the whole of I don't I don't I don't trick. I smoke pot. That's mm-hmm. it. I don't trick I no don't drugs. Go, I don't no drugs. I do you know what I mean? Back in the day I've had my hang ups. I don't drink alcohol no more. Yeah. I smoke pot. She had her she had her car, so we always used that pot. Mm-hmm. And uh How'd you meet her? I met her on the beach in uh four months. Okay. She stalked me more or less. She stalked you? <laughs> She's a good girl, man. Mm-hmm. Very caring and compassionate. I don't know. So, this wasn't something that you'd planned out. It was no. just happened. No. Has this happened ever before? Yeah, I had a play, yeah, I, you, you got my record. I had that, that no, I mean, Stacey with what? With her? No, no. Right. I and mean, I have never had any fucking altercation. I've not raised my voice to her. Her mother's an 83-year-old pit bull that I'm gonna have on my life for the rest of my life. Um, no, we never got any screaming matches or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I kind of got pissed off because I heard her talking on the phone, whispering, you know, about me that that you know my Harley's 589 and he's gonna need a couple more weeks to fucking. Uh, pull the money and uh, you know put him in the shelter that's what I heard shelter I, I don't know I, yeah and what day was this um what's today Sunday today's Monday, Monday. the 21st Sunday Sunday Saturday I guess what Saturday Friday Saturday I, I don't know mm-hmm. yeah, the, my, my, the whole fucking day is okay so was it nighttime or daytime nighttime okay so we're talking Saturday evening Saturday, yes. That would be the 18th? Yes. Okay. And that's when this event took place? Yes. Did you uh, use any other items to strike her? No. Any items to cut her? No. The injuries that she sustained were all by you? Yes. And they were all with the hammer? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure that there's, there's nothing else that we need to, you know... Before yeah. be aware of. No. Okay. Do you recognize those items? Yeah. Okay. And what are they? Her, uh, the 
any band that are uh, in a trinket. Okay. And the band is the large gold heart? Yes. And that's the item that you removed from her? Or from the no, veteran? I didn't remove it. It, 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 it. In the hay, it got broken. It got the chain broke. Okay. Where's the chain? I have no idea. You didn't pawn that? No. Okay. No. And then these two items you pawned in Sarasota? Yeah. Okay. If you would, just sign your name at the top. And if those are the items that you pawned, just write items pawned. Today's date is 2-21-22, if you'll put that on your name. or 221 22. 221 22. 22. And it is 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Appreciate it. There's no other items that we need to look for? No. The motorcycle is in your name or? Geraldine. Geraldine. Okay. But it's your motorcycle? Yes. Okay. And it's at Hurricane Cycle. Um, was that released to anybody? No, you, they wouldn't release it. They wouldn't release it because supposedly when Ronnie got there, apparently you guys had already been there discussing about the bike. Okay. So what was wrong with the bike? The bike uh, had a blown head gasket. Okay. And you contacted who? Uh, Justin Wilson and Ronnie. And Ronnie's last name? Uh, I don't know Ronnie's last name, but they don't know nothing about what happened. That's what I'm wondering. How are they aware of the bike being for sale? Oh, because I've worked with them guys. Okay. So I I knew they had the cash. Justin had the cash. Ronnie was looking for a bike. And uh, that's, you know. Did you put it on any type of social media or on the internet? You just word of mouth. You said, buy this bike from me? Word of mouth. I I dropped it off there. Ronnie told me to bring it to Hurricanes because that that guy, Vicky's an old head. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave me a good price, $589. I told Justin, Justin, give me two grand and the bike is yours. Okay. Where Where did Ron fit into this? Ron and Ron is Justin's mechanic. Okay. He owns Wilson Landscaping. Justin owns Wilson Landscaping, and Ron is his mechanic. Did Ron hand have anything to do with? Nothing. They had nothing. Moving to do a sort on my kid's eyes. They had nothing to do with anything. So it was only me. Only you. Only me. Nobody else was present. On my kid's eyes, only me. Okay. Nobody else in power. Nobody. Just me. If I could take you everything fucking back, man, I could go to show what You regret what you did? Horribly. Weird. I, I wasn't wrong. I was done wrong. I, I, I didn't have any... I, I knew this was the end of the line. I didn't... You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She didn't deserve this. No. No, it's I agree. So when you were running, as you just said, you were going from Fort Myers to Jacksonville because that's where Jerry lived? To get the title. To get the title to the bike. And she doesn't even know. She don't know. Okay. Did you bring your belongings when you got to Jerry's house yesterday, I'm assuming, sometime, uh, and you spent the night? They're all in the car still. Your stuff's still in the car? Everything is in that car. Is there any items inside of the house? In the house? Yes. Um, just old, uh, well, just stuff that I've been collecting for like fucking 30 years. I mean things that you brought with you from Fort Myers. No, no, no. My bag of toiletries. What my room? bag of toiletries is in her bathroom, so if you want to write that down. Well, I'm just going yeah. to put together the list yeah. of things like you said you wanted to get out of there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So the items that are inside of the house, you took them from the car, or yes, from you said you parked the car where? The car is in that church parking lot on Hodges. Okay. And, and then you took toiletries? I just took my toiletry bag, mm-hmm. and uh, that was it. As far as, like, uh, you know, my black sea gear bag, there's an orange guy cotton, uh, they're dry bags. 
They're dry bags, you know what I mean? They're commercial fishing, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. It's wet, you okay. know, dry yeah, yeah, bags. Yeah, keeps it all dry. Gotcha. But you're more than welcome to go through anything and everything you want. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do with the money from the pawn? $140 with gas. That's all I got. Did you put it into the tank? Yeah, I don't have any money. Did you take any cash from or from her house? No, there was none. No cash. That was it. Oh my god, I'm so sick of I appreciate your honesty. Is there anything that we haven't discussed that you want to tell me now in reference to the situation? It's the worst situation I could possibly have ever gotten done. You've never heard anybody else like that? That girl Stacy stole my camper from me. I ended up selling the fucking, taking the title to the camper, worked my ass off. She was like a fat cat. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did, uh, yeah, she took my, uh, my mother wouldn't, Put the title into her name at the time. Who's Stacy? Stacy McGuire. And or Stacy Mertz, excuse me. Is Stacey she related Mertz. to this situation? No, no, no. This, when was this? This, this happened a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And what happened with her? She uh, she wound up uh, taking the title that was hidden and wound up uh, sending the title to her boyfriend and Elizabeth, John Shimadi, and uh, they flipped the title and uh, come to realize when my mother finally said that she would put the, the camper in her name, the title was gone, and she threw a pot of hot coffee at me, and uh, we had a humdinger. You know, I'm there, beat her up a little bit, and she threw a pot of coffee at me. I did, uh, I did a year up here in Jacksonville. Did she die? No. no. Okay. So this was an incident that you've already served time for? Sure. The battery? Battery. Okay. Anything in Fort Myers? No. No. Okay. All right. Um, does Jerry know that you're here? Uh, yeah, well, the cops knocked on the door. Okay, whatever. she was there. She yeah, saw him. She was there. Okay. All right. Okay, sit tight. We'll be back in a, a minute. You have water. Do you have to go to the bathroom or anything? Uh, can I uh, go to the bathroom real quick? Yeah. Well, if we show you on a map of, of where she is, can you show us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... So here's Daniels. So let, 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 let's uh, if you go if you're going down Gladiolus, mm -hmm. okay. you turn on Michael C. Red. You come to that light. Yeah. You hang a left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go 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 that. Up. There's that little curve, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't have my uh, glasses. Okay. My glasses are totally blind. So you go down. Any cheaters? My, uh, Are you they have my glasses. The cop has my glasses. I'll go get them for you. Thank you. So you went there. You made the left. And you know how it has, it has like a curve, two sharp curves. Did you go yeah, past you turn on pebbles, the south pebbles or whatever. There's like no outlet. It says south pebbles. South pebbles. Okay. So did you you made a right on there? They yeah, went right on South Pebbles. Oh, okay, did you go to the end? Followed that all the way around to where, like, like if, if you're going out of Lico Road. Okay, and there's like a canal at the end. Did you make it to the canal? Made it past the canal. So you made it past the canal, so you were in this... Yeah, so you come around that corner, and there's the canal right there. Is that what you're talking about? And then you come, and then there's like the uh, that dirt road. Yeah, there's South Pebbles. You turned on there from Briarcliff. Yeah. You went to the end, and it goes into a dirt road. Yeah. And then it goes to the canal, and that canal's pretty deep. You didn't cross that canal, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't so, her in the water or nothing. Oh, okay, like so she's in the trees just near the canal. She's a little. She's a little past up the road a little bit. Down the dirt road. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see like that set of trees right there. This is South Pebble. Where? 
This is the the South Pebble Lane, and then it goes into a dirt road right here. Where's the dirt road that goes like where they like? Is she she's? I can't. Yeah, we'll get your glasses. I don't really. Yeah, I mean, I could point it out to you if I yeah. was with you right now. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a there's a house right there. But there's like a big tree lot right here. It's pretty dense. Here's this canal. That's the canal from where? From Briarcliff or? Yeah, this is Briarcliff. And then the canal runs this way. That's the, the train? Is that train or, the, or I'm just, I, I'm sorry, yeah. I just can't really see. Yeah. Um, this is Briarcliff and this is the canal that comes to Briarcliff that people fish in. Yeah, so if you went around, right, you went down Pebbles, and then, uh, what is it, Fire Dragon or Fire something, the road? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Fire. Uh, broken arrow. Dragonfly or fly, fire, or whatever it is. Are you going to be taking me back to Lee County or no? Um, yeah, you're going to end up going back to Lee County. Um, I don't know if it's going to be tonight, though. Okay. We have to do the logistics on all that. Yeah, I don't want her out there anymore. Yeah, we don't, want, we don't want anybody coming and finding her or, you know, a kid or something, God forbid, you know? Her mother. Yeah, her so. Her father's we're gonna we're gonna go out there and we're gonna pick her up. But I can't tell you exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Close ears. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll help you out. So this is going to be the, the very end of Briarcliff. That's the loop. Did you make it all the way that far? Yeah, but where's the Lico Road? This go, the, the, this dirt road goes out. So that's the Lico. way in. But I'll show you. He's saying it's over South Pebble now. Um, yes, it's South Pebble, and then you go back to South Pebble, and then to what is it, Dragonfire or whatever that road is? I think that's the the last road back there is Pebble and Dragonfire. Dragonfire. So you follow Dragonfire around, so that the, and then it turns into a dirt road. You come around that bend, mm -hmm. and there's the there's the fucking thing. It's in Sweetheart's right up here a little bit. Okay. What I'm going to do is have a better map yeah. printed. Just so we're clear understanding. Um, this phone that was with you, is this your phone? My phone. Okay, so this is your case. Um, yes. And this was the one that you had with you. Does anybody else use this phone? Just yours? Just me. Okay. And uh, did you shut it off while you were driving? Yeah. Okay. So the, the way it works is we don't just simply drive you back right now, okay? We have to speak with uh, law enforcement here to facilitate all of that and work with them because we're here now. We have to verbalize things to the judicial system and then have you take him back down there. We're going to have to go and speak with Jerry, okay? Like you requested to get those items, the toiletries, even though they seem minor. We're going to want to We'll collect that. And then um, the, the car. car. The car. The car. He has the keys. The cop has the key. And that's car registered to her? It's not yeah. It's not to her mom? No. Okay. Um, what about the plate for that car? The license plate? It's underneath the front seat. Okay. Was it there the whole time? No, just yesterday I put a sign, license plate stolen, and then I put the license plate. Just, just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I have all my, my clothes, everything packed in that club, in that car, so I just, okay. I don't know. So the items inside of it are either yours or they They can go back to yeah. Fort Myers. Because ultimately that's what we'll be. We'll, we'll yeah. end up in Fort Myers. Yeah, all the stuff. Everything. Yeah. Everything. And I, that's why I keep going over things with you. I want to make sure we do it now because it's, yeah. it's a long trip. Yeah, it's a long trip. Okay. 
So that's all it's going to do is get a, um, a bigger map, a little more zoomed out so that you can show us exactly where. And then we can start verbalizing things to the law enforcement here. Okay. All right. It's 10 o'clock at night already. 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Monday night. Yeah. Monday night at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Did you guys drive here? Why? Blue. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of used to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't find a dragon road, though. This is south. Uh, Look, is it, is it um, South Pebble? What you were pebble. There's South Pebble. Yeah. So Briarcliff would be traveling along this way, on the top. And then you would you would turn this way to come down South Pebble. So Aliko would be down here. Yeah, so she's she's somewhere over here. If you go down, if you if you go where I'm telling you to go, there's that dirt road that goes around. Mm -hmm out to like a legal road okay you know what i'm talking i know about. there is one road that actually yeah, leads around road. there yes extreme the constructions there it's yeah. the big i know exactly where you're talking about now i don't think that's <gasps> see that's why we're being meticulous dusty road just to make sure i we... think it's this road right here dusty road it comes across it comes out this way into the industrial park to Aliko. She like right off of that road, that dirt road? Yeah, she's right to the side. Mm -hmm. On the right side. If you're going out towards Salico, she's on the right side. Okay. Oh my god. So I'm, I don't even have that yet. I don't have that yet. We have to talk to them and find out what you have here, so that can be addressed because they pick you up. And then we'll, I'll, I'll be straight with you. You know, you've been very honest and forthcoming, and I'll tell you exactly what we're looking at and what's going to happen as soon as I know. I don't want to say something that's not true. Okay. We we have a lot of work to do though. I have to go see the car and Jerry in the house and go through all those stuff. So we'll work together right. through this and I'll share the information uh, as as I can. Okay? Yeah, thank you. I didn't want to do nothing to myself until until I met up with you guys. With? With you. With the sheriff's office? I mean, I mean the the police was, department here? Yeah, because I could have disappeared and leave her out there. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I fucking did what I did. Mm -hmm. She doesn't deserve it. She's well, we're going we're gonna to make that part. She's a beautiful woman. She's a good woman. She was just, you didn't know her from before? Just met her down on the beach? Yeah, she, 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 sure, she, I don't know. Honesty is the best policy. Absolutely. I never had anything from her. I didn't have to. Mm hmm. And it was just uh, surprising to hear her say the shelter. Yeah. Yeah. The mother, you know, and I'm here in Shelly. Should have just left. So, the one road that does go through where the construction company is and all that yeah. is dusty. dusty to Bucks. Yes. Yes. That's it. Dusty? She's under a couple of, <coughs> yeah, she's wrapped up on a blanket and uh, I have a couple uh, palms on her, like old palms. Mm-hmm. 
and you said off to the right side. So you just pulled the car over to the right, stopped, and then opened the hatch down into the swale, more or less. Yes. And um, the street before that is called Green Acres. That's the one, I think, that runs into Pebble. But when you said Pebble, that's what I was struggling with, because Pebble kind of ends before. Tell my third road. I mean, uh, you come around that bend, and there's the there's the canal. You know the canal. So you keep on going. So what you're describing to me it looks exactly like this. Green Acre. Yeah. Yeah, there's Snapdragon. Exactly. So to Green Acre is the the curve here that you stopped at, or the curve here that you stopped at? Yeah, you run this curve. It was over here somewhere. Over off Dusty Road. Yeah, because it, 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 it yeah. When you left, yeah, did you keep going out? It, yeah, I went out that way. You went out to end up on Alico. On Alico. Okay. Now I understand. I don't think we have that on here still. Yeah, just trying to figure out what to do. Hang myself, uh, go uh, to pick a penny and go get a fucking hose and uh, but she didn't deserve that. I need to take my to do that low low life before I gave you guys the answer. Mm-hmm. I knew it wasn't any well. I knew this yeah. whole thing wasn't going to end well. So, I don't know. I don't feel good about it, but I'll deal with it. Okay. Do and like I, I said, I'll be honest with you. As soon as I get caught up on all the other things that we got to go and do, Thank so you. we'll have you here. Don't, don't, uh, don't wrap the blanket around your neck and do things like that, okay? Yeah. That's, that's not going to, not going to fix things. Yeah. You have family. Yeah, Jerry's, uh, Jerry didn't know nothing. Mm-hmm. And neither did Ron? No, none of them. Justin did. And no, nobody knew nothing. Okay. Jerry doesn't even have TV. I wound up going out and buying an antenna today, just so. Just Where did you find an antenna for a television? Went to uh, Walmart, because she doesn't have cable no more, the Xfinity. Oh, I know what you're talking about, she the one that plugs into the... Into the, the back. Yeah, into the she coax. got rid of the uh, Xfinity. Get you a couple channels. So, she was like, can you go get me an antenna and <laughs> show me how to do it? Did it work? That's what we did this morning. Did it work? Yeah. Got a couple channels? Got a couple channels. And, uh... Yeah, I knew you guys. I mean, I knew you guys were going to be there. I wasn't trying to hide, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I knew you guys were going to be there. I heard the knock on the door, and I uh, hear you are. I, I didn't... I didn't... I came right out. Appreciate that. Could have, could have gone a whole lot different, and there's no need for any of that. Yeah. You know? I'm just thinking about it, but what's it going to do? Is there any weapons at Jerry's house? No. I don't have any guns, nothing. I'm a felon. Mm-hmm. No. no. And was uh, the, the charge that you did time on, that was the battery from here? Yeah, that was here. Mm-hmm. I was in Hannah Park with her. Mm-hmm. Did you ever do prison time? No. Just mm-hmm. well, Just county. Ten months. So... Mm-hmm. All right, well, he's going to print off one more map just okay. so we can explain in detail. Um, we'll have you locate it for us, and then we'll check that out and start doing all the other things we have to do. Okay. They'll get you some food, water, bathroom, and we'll take it from there. So I'll be staying here a couple days. And most likely. Move most move. likely. It's going to take me a long time to get it permission from the court system here to take the vehicle and to do all the things that we we need to do. It's a time-taking thing. It's, Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's what it is. Yeah. But we have a good rapport. Yeah. You be honest with me. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. And we'll work our way through this. Mm -hmm. I don't even 
remember walking down that hallway. I, 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 the hallway where? I blacked out, man. Okay. The hallway at, uh, at, her, house. at her house. You said that you were cleaning up a little bit. Where's the items? And did you use like bleach? Did you use water and a towel or water and a towel? You haven't gone through our house yet. You guys have gone through portions. Well, I mean, I've been extremely busy yeah. there and then other places. You know, trying to figure shit out. Figure shit out. That's my job. And um, so I didn't have the luxury of going through everything there. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, yeah. No, I got Windex, you know, I, I didn't, I wiped, all I did was wipe the wall down, that was it, I wiped the wall down, I wiped Which the room? In, the, in the bedroom, I wiped the wall down in the bureau, mm -hmm. and all the towels and all that shit were right there, when you it wasn't prefer. even like I took, I, it wasn't even like I took the shit and put it in the garbage bag and tried to fucking dispose of it <laughs> somewhere else, I didn't do it's anything. It's all just there. It's there. And which door did you go out when you put her You put her in the car? Nobody helped you? Nobody helped you. Okay. And which door did you go out? That fucking side door. The side door. Okay. It's like 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. Where was the car parked? On the side of the house. Is that where you normally park it? No. Normally you park it in the driveway. How did it get to the side? I pulled it up there. Okay. Okay. It wasn't even like I backed it in. Mm -hmm. So Brian and Mickey's house, you know, he could have been out there smoking cigarettes, you know, fucking thing go down. Oh my god. god. There's absolutely no chance I could smoke a cigarette. Maybe. I'll see what they, I know I would be able to facilitate that, but this isn't my facility, so I have to see what what they say, but I'll, I'll try, I'll do everything I can for you, how's that sound? Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go down Thinking. Yeah. Oh, do you want Jerry's? Do you want Jerry's phone number? No, they got it. They got it. That's that's where they were. Yeah, we kind of have to hold on to that house, which yeah. is why I want to go there quickly, because I don't want to make her stand by for an extremely long time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Is there a, it's a it's a it's a bad situation. Bad situation. Very bad situation. So we have to handle it appropriately, so professionally. So professionally. That's, that's why these things are going to take some time. Bear, bear with us. Okay. You're a religious person? Yeah. Yeah. Started to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was molested by a priest when I was in third grade. Catholic? Fucking Mass? St. Mary's in the Assumption of Elizabeth. Yeah. You ever tell anybody? Yeah, I'm part of a big uh, civil action right now over that shit. Yeah. And, uh, Jeff Anderson lawyer, is my lawyer. And, uh, in what city? Uh, Edison, New Jersey. 
Rita Gribgo is my, my lawyer. Mm-hmm. She taught me up all my life. Yeah. Did you go to school? Did you finish school? I went with St. Mary's, yeah. That's yeah. A elementary? St. Mary's is Catholic, Roman Catholic, by the way. Right, but what grade did you go to? Uh, 11th. <laughs> 11th. And then I, uh, I went to the Army and uh, National Guard. Mm-hmm. And, uh, should have stayed. Yeah. What year did you get out? Uh, before the first desert storm. I went right in 18. I turned 18 March 3rd, March 4th. I was in Fort Benning, Georgia. Mm. So. I have one song. Down at Cape Coral? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh. Did you talk to him or see him yeah. in the last couple of days? No. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen my mother, I haven't seen anybody. Mm-hmm. Jerry, Jerry's the, the only one that I saw. Your mother is still living? Yes. Is she in Florida? She's in Cape Coral somewhere. Okay. She was living in Del Toro, Ventura, uh, Del Toro overall for 41, and uh, 621 Sierra Madre, and uh, went by there yesterday, and she don't live there. Never called, never told me. Does your son know? Yeah, me and my son don't really know. Yeah, him, but you know. he's he's twenty one at that at that age and uh the more I try, the more he pulls away, so Alright. So this is uh thank you, sir. No problem. We think we've we've got it all figured out. Um so Aliko would be running down across the bottom. You remember we were talking that um, this is dusty. Yeah. So this goes down. back. Alico so. would actually be down here, and Briarcliff would be here. That would be coming in this way, and then you would run into dusty. Yeah, you come run up and dusty, right? And that, that this is where the uh, the canal is. So the canal is this here. Oh, there's the canal. Okay, so you come around like that. So you be coming. The Lico will let out down here. Would that help yeah. here? Yeah, I would think she's right around here on the right side. I don't, you know. Let me show you a very broad view of it, and then you can use the zoomed in view to. Yeah, I'm thinking she's right over here somewhere. Yeah, because if that's before you do that, give me one second. Okay. Let's just make sure we get it right. Alright. So you see that right there is what you're looking at. Okay? But as I zoom out, you're gonna see those roads go away. You see Alico now? Uh, yeah. Right down here? Yes, yes, yes. And then you'll see There's the, the this is the, the there's the canal. Mm-hmm. So she's gonna be She's on the right side of the road. So she's 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 somewhere right here. On Dusty Road. On Dusty Road. Okay. Gotta be. Okay. She's she's gotta be somewhere right here, man. You can't fucking know. Okay. So um, sign your name right up there. Two twenty one twenty two. Two twenty one twenty two. Ten thirty three PM. And then location of the body. And what is she wrapped in? The white blanket location. Okay. All right, I'm going to step out and uh, Sergeant Rawls is going to take the view. Thank you. Can you hear me? You're good? Can you narrow it down on that? He's got this location right in here. So somewhere on Dusty, near the canal. Past the canal. Past the canal? Past the canal. So that's the phone call. I'm about to make it near the canal. You make it all down. Yeah. Yeah, call downs? Yes. 
he would like to smoke a cigarette, so I'm going to go ask them if there's a way we can facilitate okay. this. How long have you been in the class? On and off since like 89. Oh, shit. Yeah, That's why I moved there. But, um, yeah. oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's changed a lot since then. Yeah. You, just, you were from Jacksonville? You said New Jersey, right? Yeah, you were born and raised in New Jersey. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, commercial fish, scallop, that of King. You were you work on the shrimp boats in Fort Myers? No, no. No. Never did that. And no money in it. Oh, there's no money. Cape May, uh, uh, Northeast scallops, big scallops. Yeah. So uh, that's what I've been doing for about 25 years. And uh, I came down from Jersey, and uh, I was over on the beach over there by uh, going out to Lake Sanibel. Yeah. <clears throat> and I met up with oh. And, uh... Where'd you go to high school in New Jersey? Yeah. Did you graduate high school? 11th grade. 11th grade. Oh, okay, so you can read and write. And oh, yeah. yeah. My yeah. Music was seasonal prep. I did seasonal prep in uh, Westfield. My my first year at seasonal prep, I was at Westfield. I was on a, the new campus. Yeah. And then uh, I turned 18, March 3rd, March 4th, I was in the Army. Okay. So, so what years are you in the Army for? 88, 89, 90, 91, 3, and then I had a commitment with the National Guard, and, uh, yeah, I was young, dumb, and stupid back then, even more than I am now, and, uh, went AWOL and got a dishonorable. Oh, uh, I, was I was in the Marine Corps, so I'm not going to know how the military life is. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was basically... You did a lot of years that just to, just to quit like that though. Yeah. Which is odd. Usually people are going AWOL are like a year in. Yeah, I know. It was stupid. Uh, Paige, you know, my mother was dating Diamond Dallas Page and uh, we had Norma Jeans down yeah. here. The bus was Diamond Dallas Page? Yeah. 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 Hmm. So we, we had the, uh, we had Norma Jeans by Paige Field and, uh, yeah, I came home on a family pass. Uh, I went in as an E3, um, got an Article 15, got knocked down, and uh, was more or less done. Should have done, I don't know. I've, I never really had any men in my life as far as, like, you know, do this, do this, do this, and this will happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, you think a lot of the issues in your life was just the lack of, like, structure as a child growing up? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. No? So most definitely. My mother's been married five times. Oh, okay. She's so a piece of shit in the world. So you just went around to been in the shitty, shop. shitty stepdads? Shitty stepdads, beat the shit out of everybody. Yeah. And that's what you know. You learn child. You, you learn child. You see that kind of. Yeah. Think that's normal, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, you need to get there and find her. Yeah, we're trying to. I'm so sorry, Barbara. Yeah. Her mother. What what just made you flip this time? I just I don't know. Just all the shit leading up to that, but even before that, just I couldn't believe how two faced her mother was being. I couldn't believe how two faced she was being. I can't believe how two faced fucking her other met. To it, you know, to, to, I don't even drink. I smoke yeah. a little bit of pot. That's it, man. Fuck you it. think they were conspiring against you or something? Just between her and my mother. Night, just she wanted. To she, yeah, she come back in there, and uh, you know, one minute I'm there, one minute you stay. I love you. And next minute, you, go, you know, you know, I just yeah. You, you, you never know. You never know who was going to be at the door. And you showed up. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just. Mm. Do they get you? They're taking you? No. To have a cigarette? Oh, really? They say? Thank you. Yes, 
also show up over here in a minute. Yeah. So her mom, how, how much of a relationship you had with her mom? Mom, at first, you know, well, I'll adopt you, you know, I love you and all this shit. And, you know, and then in the next breath, you know, I got, you know, she was playing both ends of the coin with the mother because the mother's paying her bills. She just started getting her disability on the 23rd of February. Yeah. Or whatever, the 28th of February, or, you know. Why did you have on her mom? Do you ever think about hurting the mother? Or? No. No? I can't believe I hurt Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, man. I don't think you were thinking. No, not much to lie about. Think I'd do that to somebody? No, no you don't seem like a bad guy, man. Nobody deserves it. She didn't deserve it. She's a beautiful person. <sighs> what kind of Harley did you have? And a uh, FLHR of uh, Road King Classic. Okay. What year? 96, first year Evo. Saddle bed, hard bags. You know. <sighs> yeah. I wasn't running. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, you can only run for so long. Yeah, and then that wasn't going to happen. Fucking this morning, I was ready to call you when when, when I when I came back at twelve. I was, I was ready to. Why didn't you call us right after it happened? Why did you put her body there and not call us? You know. I just panicked, man. Yeah. I fucking panicked. I was, more scared, I was more scared of fucking small care more scared of facing her mother. I was scared, scared of facing, you're afraid of facing the consequences you're saying. That's what no, I knew the consequences. Oh. I wasn't afraid of the consequences. They said not want the mother and have to see her. I was just trying to figure things out. I, evidently I I went yeah. Who did you pick this area? How'd you know this area? I, I worked back there. Dan Durbin has a shop back there. So I used to uh, go back there and, you know, I knew that area. Okay. Behind the construction companies and the fields? How long did it take you to get to Oliko after you dropped her off? Did you have to do a lot of driving or was it pretty quick? I just, uh, that was like at 4 o'clock in the morning, I don't know, I fucking dropped her and fucking... How far off the road? Turn over, turn over here, 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 there's the car, mm -hmm. right there. In the, in the ditch? Yeah. Down in the ditch? Yeah. Was there water in it? No. Okay. No, she's not in any water. Okay. All right. That's why I don't want it to rain. I don't. She's not in any water, man. Okay. I don't want her in water. I don't want nothing to happen to her. Right. I, I was at the car this morning. I was ready to call you fucking guys this morning. Mm -hmm. It's that fucking. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm just done with it. I'm done. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Let me go see where they're at with the cigarette, and uh, I'll go up with you. It's fucking done with me. It's fucking done. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here you go. Really? Okay. Oh, the officer's gonna help us out. Alright, my man. 
you gotta put some. I'll put you in these and then bring you outside. You need a little more comfortable be able to smoke. Does that make sense? All right, let's let's do this. Take a seat first. That we don't. It's an actual smoke. Okay. Yes, you need this. No. Okay. Yeah, plenty of them over there. So that would not be cool. You're good, my friend. Sure. Alright. Good. Ready? Alright. Now, see? It's going to leave those on. Yeah. Based off of earlier. We'll work with you as long as you're working with these guys. No we got a bunch of things we're going to go do. You got. Some snacks there and some water. Do you have to use the, the restroom? Uh, no, I'm right. You're good for right now? Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll, come, we'll keep we'll checking with you. Well, let me do you a favor. I'm going to double lock them so they don't tighten on you accidentally. Does that work? Can you just flip that around? Can you flip that around? Yeah, you got it. Or something, and they're gonna. No, double lock. These are. No, it's nice the ones that I got. James, everything, did you have anything else you wanted to share with me? Have we covered everything? Yeah, we covered everything. And uh, everything you say to today is the truth? Yeah. Lord, yeah, the truth. That's a yes? Yes. Okay. And you offer this statement of your own free will? My own free will. I didn't make you any promises? None whatsoever. Okay. All right, I'm going to step out and start getting to work on some of the other things that we have to do. Tell Tell I'll make amends to her one day if she gives me a chance. All right, James. Okay. Hey, when you took her out of the car, did you drag her from the car into the behind the tree, or? Yes. Okay. Well, she was in the trunk or the back seat. The, the trunk part. Oh, okay. So you took her out of the trunk and you dragged her there with the. She was in the blanket at the time. Yeah. So when you dragged and you dragged her, oh, through a ditch, or a little dry swale. A right dry there. swale, and then yeah. you went on the other side of that dry swale. Yeah, she's right behind the tree with some prawns on her. Okay. It's probably a half mile from that, from where the, uh, where the canal is. I don't know, I'd say, you know, you come, you come around the bend and there's that canal, there's that house right there on the corner. It's probably not even a quarter of a mile, not even. No, you're like a quarter mile away from the house? Yeah. Did you pull her over something, like a little little hill, or did you drag her over anything? No. No, there was no, like, little tiny hill or anything? No, just a little tiny swale, and there was a little spot where the fences come together. Okay, so the fences come together there? Are there yeah. two different types of fences? They're wire fences, but they're, she's on this side. Of the, she's on this side. I didn't put her over on the other side of the fence. Okay. Like that. All right. I'm just trying to assist, so all I'm doing is this is, oh, let's see, I must be here. So this is a dusty road, right? Yeah. Does it look familiar? Yeah, yeah. So do I need to go the other way, or which way I need to go? You know what, this is, this is dusty going this way towards Amico? This way? This way would be north, so this way would be going towards Six Mile, I believe. That would yeah, be so going towards Briar so This is going, this is going to Amico. Yeah. Okay, so there's this guy's house. Right. So go past. 
in the house, in the house, just pass it. So, so the house is right there? Just pass it. Pass, pass, go. Go. Two more. Okay. Down more. I'm right around here. Yeah, yeah because. Yeah. Yeah, she's over here. So here. she'll be like. She's like over here. She, she's not there. She's a little over. Up over. <laughs> Right there. Is there anything, any landmarks, or anything that you can think of that would? Not that I can. I was out of my mind, man. But somewhere. Up in, um, did you drag her back far? Or she's just right. No, here? she's right here. Right, right here. Right up in here. Okay. Yeah. I know. Thank you. Yes. Hey, can you take the blanket off your head? You can use the blanket, just can't put it your head. Oh, no problem, sure. Yeah, thank you. other things I'll read it all to you so before they can get started in their process I just have to read the search one out to you just so you know what's going on yeah. all right in the name of the state of Florida to all singular the sheriff or deputy sheriffs of Duval County Florida whereas an application affidavit made under oath and writing have been submitted this day to the undersigned judge for the judicial circuit in and for Duval County Florida and whereas the facts made known to me have caused me to certify and find that there is probable cause to believe that the following individuals described as follows James Paul Lowry Lowry L A L L Y with the last known address of 13275 Tropic Egret Drive, Jacksonville, Florida 3224 Race White, ethnicity not of Hispanic origin, sex male height 5 foot 10 for your license, weight 170, eye color brown, hair color brown, date of birth 33-1970, DL slash ID number Lima or L400-455-7008, Florida. Yes. Possesses evidence relative to concealing evidence related to a crime in violation of section 782.04 Florida statutes. Said evidence is saliva samples to be obtained from buccal swabs inside the map cheek of the above and named individual. Fingernail clippings, major case prints, hair samples, and photographs of the individual. James Paul Lally. Whereas the facts establishing the grounds for this application are set forth in the affidavit of Christopher Smith. ID number 74010, the Jackson Sheriff's Office, that's me. Um, now, therefore, you or either of you, with lawful assistance as may be necessary, are commanded in the daytime or the nighttime or on Sunday, as the exigencies of the occasion may require, may seize and reasonably detain James Paul Lally in order to take samples from the aforementioned James Paul Lally and to give proper receipt and making a return of this search warrant within 10 days of the day executed, DNA evidence of this nature will not degrade and is immune from becoming stale, and you are further commanded to bring said evidence so seized in any person arrested in connection with this search warrant to the court having jurisdiction of this offense to be disposed of according to law. Witness my hand and seal this 22nd day of February 2022 by Judge Meredith Carbula, uh, Judge of the Circuit Court of the Fourth Judicial Circuit in and for Duval County. Electronic design per section 933 floor statutes. And we begin. So these nice gentlemen are going to ask you to stand up. Just follow his instructions. He's going to ask you to do photographs first. They're going to take some cheek swabs, like you said. Am I staying in, in, the, in, in down here, or am I going back? Uh, you'll be booked in Duval County tonight. I believe at some point in the future, you will be then transported to Lee County. Um, that could take a couple days. So you, okay. You, know, uh, yeah, you can just relax for right now. All right, thank you. What is your first name? James. And then it's L-A-L-L-Y? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, are you gonna have any problem with us doing these this collection? No. Okay. Let's start off with taking uh, two buckle swabs. All you gotta do is sit there. We're not gonna do anything. 
I'm going to just put this on one side of your cheek on the inside, and the other one come on the other side. Just look forward. Thank you. Tweeters. We gotta pull it out at the follow up, okay? I don't want it to be alarmed. Right. Two will be fine, you think? Take it. You think two will be fine? <laughs> so all you'll have to do is just kind of lean forward, I guess, a little bit. You're good right there. You ain't gonna do anything else. It might hurt a little bit, but again, I'm sorry. This one, okay? Yeah. What's in there? What's in there? Let's see it. With follicle, I'm gonna get one more. And this one. So that's what that is. So these are these little things I'm trying to get some stuff on your fingernails. Also, you were right, by the way. Two L's. Ah, all right. So I'm not going to dig deep, man. Nah, I know. I'm going to the left hand. Roger. Yes. Right. Is he going to be able to stand in the shackles? 
Yeah, that's no gas. I'll, I'll leave you alone. Leave you alone here. You're good on that. Just keep just like that for me. I'm just gonna try to get some zoom in, zoom in on your I'll short your tail down here. That's your phone? Okay, and then just hold it like that for me. Just so I can see the cops. Can you flip them? Uh, you Especially you can. Yeah, perfect. I'll call drop. All right, thank you. And now can you stand, sir? And you can just put yeah, exactly just like you're doing. Do you have any injuries that we need to know about? No. You said none. Got the uh, hair. Right. You got hair? There you go. Here you go. Here you go. Um, if you can see his finger now, the area of those is hard to get in. Like, uh, I don't even think you can do that clipping. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do his clothing. You know, we're going to have his buckle swaps. And then the uh, phone and his hat and that stuff, if we can keep it all together as part of his property. Mm -hmm. Put a bag for you? Yeah. Surgeon bag. And then our crime scene people will pick it up with the car tomorrow and have it all go straight from your crime scene facility to our... Right. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay. And we'll figure it all out. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so we'll be doing closing now. <coughs> Told me. Uh, hey, I don't know, man. I just. Yeah, I mean, there. Yeah. I'll have a shirt. No, no, you're just making it that. <coughs> Down to you. Okay. 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 Go down the, from the top to bottom, okay? This slide came from uh, Jerry's house here in uh, Jacksonville. They didn't even come from. That probably won't make us take him anyways. Okay. Yeah, yeah just the whole thing. <clears throat> the whole enchilada. <clears throat> What did he say? Sure. Well, you need a sweatshirt. You get a shirt? You get a shirt? No, I'm not. Yeah. No, he's working on a shirt and some slides. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks. 
sir. Yeah. I think your uh, glasses you definitely keep. Yeah, the watch is going to have to go. Is it? Yeah, the watch will have to go. The watch will be on my property eventually. Oh, yeah, everything's going to be there. All right. Yeah. yeah, it's all yours to keep over there. Thank you. Here. He's gonna come back and get your stuff, okay? There you go, plus, man. Hey, James. What's Where? the password on the phone? Um, 331976. 331976? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Thank you. Lord, uh, what's the game plan? They're now? working on. Did they get your uniform yet? I'm hoping I can get a sweatshirt and a shirt. Okay. They're working on that. That's not okay. my call. It's not yours. We're working on the Fort Myers end, updating our judges with everything, and then seeing what they want us to do as far as having you taken from here down to there. Because there, there's going to be an issue in Sarasota as well. So we're going to have to... An issue in Sarasota? The, uh, the merchandise, yeah. the pawn. pawn there, we, we took that. So now that pawn shop is out. So there's a little, not not, not a big deal, but something I have um, to address. The um, the things that it don't really matter anymore. I could really give a fuck, but uh, I guess my possessions and shit in the car. I don't know. Whatever. The car. We're yeah. going to do that now. Okay. First step was getting this done here. Yeah. And then. We're going to leave. Jerry will be able to point out what's yeah. mine. I feel bad because she's still there waiting. So I want to yeah. get over there. She's a sweetheart, man. Yeah. You'll be here. Be cool for these guys like you've been. And then yeah. we'll get you down into Fort Myers uh, according to policy. I can't tell them how to do it. I can't just drive yeah. you down. I know. Okay. I know. You got your... Your Mike. Jim. 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 same name. Yeah, yeah. You won't forget mine. Okay, so um, um, you've been nice, man. Thank you. I appreciate your honesty. I do. I do. I know it doesn't seem like you know it's always the right thing to do right now, but it is. It is. You know, I'll meet with and I'll tell her exactly how uh, forthcoming you were, and she doesn't. You know, she doesn't know all the Thank you. specifics. All right, I don't want to keep. All right, man, you go. Tell Jerry I love her, man. All right, man. They'll be with you in one second. All right, man. Just a sweater? A sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. Yeah, man, please. You told them that? I'm, I'm hoping if you could, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll let them know. All right, know. thank you. you. Got it. All right, James, time to roll. Okay, boss. Lally was sentenced to 25 years in prison. That is the end of this story. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Only 10% of you are subscribed. So if you made it this far into the video, I don't really know why you're not subscribed unless you just don't like my stuff, which, which is possible. Uh, thanks again uh, for watching this video. I mean, I know that you have a lot of choice on YouTube. So the fact that you chose my video over the alternatives means a lot to me. Stay safe out there. Take care of your family. And thanks again. Oh, a little yellow is fine, but play it safe. Thank you, and see you next time.